Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you six cleaning tips to keep your appliances in top shape. Hard water doesn't just leave behind stains. It can impair the use of your appliances, particularly your dishwasher. Those mineral deposits left behind by hard water can build up on just about anything, leading to less efficient cleaning by clogging up your dishwasher spray arms, hoses, and even your drain pump. Luckily, all you need is a bottle of vinegar. To get rid of hard water deposits, start a normal cycle without dishes or detergent and let the dishwasher start to fill with water. Open the door to stop it from filling and pour in two cups of white vinegar. Then close the door and let the cycle complete. The vinegar should dissolve the calcium deposits. If you have a lot of buildup, you may want to do the same thing, but instead of letting it fully complete the cycle, open the door shortly after it begins to wash and let it sit with the vinegar overnight. Next morning, you can let the cycle finish. You can also use vinegar in other appliances. To clean your washing machine, pour four cups of white vinegar into the empty tub, then run the washer on the hottest, longest wash setting without detergent. Wipe out the interior with a sponge, and if you still smell vinegar, do one more no detergent rinse cycle to clear the washer of that vinegar smell. Hard water deposits can also stop the flow of water in your ice maker or water dispenser. If you can maneuver a cup or tray of white vinegar into place, you can also soak the part that's blocked. Otherwise, wrapping it in a warm vinegar soaked rag and letting it sit for a while can help break down some of the buildup. To cut off hard water in the fridge at its source, make sure you replace your water filter based on the manufacturer's instructions. If your dishwasher isn't getting your silverware clean, you may need to check for clogs. Dishwashers work by cycling the same water through a pump system over and over. The water is filtered with each pass, but sometimes particles can get through or those filters will get clogged up, reducing performance and causing the motor to work harder. Check your dishwasher's basket and strainer filters for food debris and clean them out. You can also remove the sump filter and check for clogs in the intake. Finally, take a look at your dishwasher spray arms. The individual jets could be clogged. If they're stopped up, you can clean them out. Don't forget about your dryer too. A regular load of laundry shouldn't take more than 60 minutes to dry. If your clothes are still damp at the end of the cycle, it could be that the heating element or another part is bad, but just as likely and easier to fix is a clog in the vent. For proper drying, make sure you're emptying the lint filter out after each load. Once or twice a year, you should also make sure the dryer vent is completely clear of debris. That's right, the whole line. Be sure to check the outside too. The exit could be covered by leaves, debris, or missing. Clean your vent regularly and check the outside every once in a while to make sure the passage isn't blocked. If your fridge isn't getting as cold as it used to and it seems like it's running all the time, you may be able to fix it with a little bit of dusting. The compressor, condenser coils, and other components can get covered in dust and pet hair over time that insulates them and prevents them from working properly. Pull the refrigerator out from the cabinet, unplug it, and remove the access cover. Keep in mind some coils are accessed from the front. Then using a vacuum cleaner and condenser coil cleaning brush, brush the coils to remove all the dust and debris and suck it all up with the vacuum cleaner. Once that's done, wipe down the compressor, condenser motor and fan, the water inlet valve, and anything else that's dirty. Make sure not to damage anything and be sure to do this at least once a year. Cleaning the coils can improve your refrigerator's efficiency by up to 30%. Most manufacturers recommend that you replace your refrigerator's water filter once every six months. If you're experiencing issues with your fridge's ice maker or water dispenser, and that filter is more than a year old, it's probably the source of your issue. If you're noticing unpleasant smells in your freezer, your ice, or your drinking water, it's definitely time to replace that filter. An old water filter will saturate, allowing contaminants and impurities into the water you drink and the ice you make. Mold and mildew can start to grow in the filter if it's particularly old, and in extreme cases, you may find the buildup can clog or damage the whole system, stopping everything from working. Unfortunately, there's no effective way to clean a refrigerator water filter, you just have to replace it. Washing machines have a tendency to gather bacteria and mold. The warm, damp environment after a cycle is a perfect place for them. Front load washers, in particular, can start to smell very bad if you aren't keeping things clean. Make sure you're using the right amount of detergent, especially if you have a high efficiency washer. 
Using too much is bad for your washer's components and will leave behind deposits that can cause mold or bacteria blooms. Don't let your clothes sit too long in the washer once the cycle's done. It doesn't take long for bacteria to start to bloom. Moving them over to the dryer as soon as the cycle is finished will keep your clothes from picking up foul smells. After you've moved the laundry to the dryer, leave the washer door or lid open until the interior is completely dry. On front load washers, focus on the door boot. That rubber gasket has a lot of folds and crevices in it that can collect water and grime. Check it for water after every wash and wipe it down if you find any. If you already have foul odors, clean the door boot with vinegar. And then run a hot wash cycle with vinegar or a fresh. Make sure to clean your entire washer, tub, gasket, and detergent dispenser monthly to keep it from smelling bad. If your front load washer is leaving behind a small puddle of water after a cycle, you might not need to replace the door seal. Instead, try cleaning the door itself, particularly the bottom, glass and all. If you have pets, their hair can collect at the bottom of the door glass, weakening the washer's door seal and allowing water to leak through. As you can see, it only takes a small amount of time and effort to get and keep your appliances clean. As always, if you have any questions, we're always happy to help at AppliancePartsPros.com.